Hey YouTube, it's our tablets back again with another teen natural hair care video. In this video, I'm going to have you join me as I get my hair flat ironed for the very first time. I have literally never seen my hair straight, so I was so excited about this one. Let's get started. So after doing a ton of research on how heat affects hair, my mom and I decided to limit the use of heat as much as possible and decided to air dry my hair rather than blow drying and the results were excellent. So after going through my normal wash routine as shown in my previous video linked above, my mom detangled my hair using only Kinky Curly Not Today leave-in conditioner. She then put it into the 8 flat twist to dry. What you see here is my hair once it had been dried. The flat twists were taken out and my hair was separated into four sections. Now I did lots of research on heat protectants and since I am always looking to go the chemical free natural route, I once again decided on a natural alternative. I learned that four natural oils, which include coconut oil, grapeseed oil, avocado oil, and shea butter are very good heat protectant. My mom also told me that she cooks with grapeseed oil and avocado oils for the same reason because a lot of other oils turn toxic when used for cooking at high temps. Now there are other oils that have high smoke points but those four stood out for me for the following reasons. First, I like grapeseed oil because it is very lightweight and won't weigh the hair down. It also gives your hair a really nice sheen. Next, I like coconut oil because it is one of the few oils that is very moisturizing and that it can penetrate the hair shaft. So if you're going to flat iron on fairly low heat, not above 350, coconut oil is a good choice. Next, I like avocado oil because it is the showstopper of smoke point. It can withstand up to 520 degrees. Last but not least, I love and ultimately went with shea butter because of its thermal conductivity. Shea butter creates a very even barrier around the hair, making it as good as popular chemical silicones like dimethicone. In fact, shea butter is often listed in the ingredients list of hair masks, finishing products, and blow dry prep sprays. Now that we got that out the way, let's get on to my flat ironing adventure. So my mom took small sections of hair, added a small amount of shea butter, brushed it with a paddle brush, then flat ironed on 400 degrees. It took a total of two hours for her to finish. Then afterwards, she gave me a much needed trim. As sad as it was to have to lose so much hair, once my hair was straight we really saw the unhealthy condition of my end and we had to say goodbye to those dead split raggedy ends. My hair looked 10 times better once the ends were trimmed. Besides that I've been struggling to grow my hair to tailbone length, trying all types of hair growth methods. I mean, it's been stuck at bra strap length for years. So after seeing my ends, I now know why. We just couldn't really see the true condition of my ends and my hair's curly state. So seeing my hair straight was much needed because it showed that my ends were the culprit in my stunted hair growth. It's not that my hair wasn't growing, it was that I wasn't retaining length. So now that my ends have a fresh start, I'm going to take extra good care of them and pay much closer attention to them. To do that, I will probably be straightening my hair at least four times a year so that I can closely examine them and trim when necessary. I'm sure that I'll finally start to see some length retention now. Anyway, that's it. I really hope that you enjoyed joining me for my very first flat iron. Let me know in the comments below of any useful tips that you have for safely flat ironing how often you flat iron, and what natural heat protectant you use. And before you go, if you enjoyed this video, please press that like button. While you're at it, remember to also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so, and follow me on Instagram. Stay tuned till next time to get more videos like this that help you on your journey to that tailbone length hair. Peace!